Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The Royal Court has announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will be at the forefront to welcome Sultan Hassan Bulqiya of Brunei Darussalam on his arrival for an official visit to Bahrain today. His Majesty the King and the Sultan of Brunei will hold talks on strong bilateral relations binding the two brotherly countries and people in addition to regional and international developments. In its statement, the Royal Court welcomes Bahrain's guest and his delegation and wishes them a pleasant stay in Bahrain. The visit of His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan Bulqiya, Sultan of Brunei Darussalam, to the Kingdom of Bahrain comes within the framework of the strong historical relations between the two countries that go back in the official diplomatic aspect to the year 1988. The visit also comes within the framework of the promising potential opportunities to develop bilateral relations towards broader horizons and joint cooperation in various fields. The importance of the visit of the Sultan of Brunei Darussalam to the Kingdom of Bahrain is the culmination of a series of mutual visits between the two brotherly countries at the level of leaders and senior officials. His Majesty's current visit is the second to Bahrain after his first visit in 2004 which came in response to the first visit paid by His Majesty the King to Brunei Darussalam in the same year. The visit served as an important gateway to entering into bilateral projects which laid the foundations for the future of joint relations and contributed and continues to achieve good and benefit for the two countries. In 2017, His Majesty the King made his second official visit to Brunei Darussalam during which he stressed the importance of building strong and solid relations with the two countries in the fields of cooperation and with the Sultanate of Brunei in particular. The official visit of the Sultan of Brunei Darussalam to the Kingdom of Bahrain is seen as a reinforcement for a long history of joint bilateral cooperation, including meetings, discussions and official contacts between the two countries, especially at the economic investment, commercial and logistic levels, in light of the joint agreements and memorandums of understanding signed between the two countries. The government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was keen to create the appropriate conditions to achieve broader economic cooperation and to create and enable environment to support this cooperation in a way that guarantees its framework and development in all its fields. Within the framework of his visit to the United States of America, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met the Principal Deputy Director of National Intelligence in the United States of America, Dr. Stacy Dixon, in the presence of the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and members of the delegation accompanying the Minister of Interior. At the beginning of the meeting, the Principal Deputy Director of U.S. National Intelligence welcomed the visit of the Minister of the Interior to the United States noting its importance of developing relations between the two countries and opening more prospects for joint cooperation, strengthening the permanent strategic relationship between the two countries and the deep trust that has developed over years of close cooperation. For his part, the Interior Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is continuing its civilized approach based on coexistence and promoting a culture of peace. Based on the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, praising the close relations and strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States, and their joint efforts to promote regional stability and protect international peace and security. He noted the need to develop mechanisms for exchanging experiences as a basis for enhancing joint cooperation and facing challenges in a way that serves the interests of the two friendly countries. During the meeting, a number of strategic topics and issues were discussed in addition to security challenges and what they require in terms of enhancing security cooperation and coordination to confront them and deal with them efficiently and effectively. In a related context, the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, which is considered a high-ranking research institution within the decision-making circles in the United States, organized a panel discussion with the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, which focused on security cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States. Executive Director of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, Robert Satloff, noted the importance of the minister's visit to the United States and the role in strengthening bilateral relations between the two countries. The Minister of Interior underlined the strategic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States and the progressing cooperation, coordination and exchange of experiences between them which contributes to increasing the capabilities of the security services and keeping pace with the development 
taking place in the field of organized and cross-border crime. The minister reviewed ways to exchange experiences and information and take effective measures to address various security threats within the framework of joint efforts to consolidate regional stability and protect international peace and security, indicating that among the security challenges is combating and containment of organized crime, drones and cyber attacks. The minister stressed the importance of benefiting from advanced technologies, developing cooperation and exchanging experiences and information within the framework of enhancing joint cooperation to protect security and stability. During the panel discussion, a number of security topics and issues were discussed in addition to the efforts exerted to achieve regional security. Mm. The Labour Minister, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Humaydan, met the Director General of the International Labour Organization, Gilbert Handbound, discussed with him the joint cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting was held on the sideline of the 111th session of the International Labour Conference held in Geneva, Switzerland. The Minister noted Bahrain's keenness on developing national labour systems and legislations stressing the Kingdom's continued efforts towards creating many initiatives that reflect its commitment to international labor standards. He also highlighted Bahrain's initiatives and projects to promote labor rights and ensure equality between the various groups of workers, in addition to regulating labor relations and developing business and productivity. The Minister of Labor also met with the Arab Labor Organization Secretary General, Faiz Ali al mutairi and discuss the role of the organization in following up on labor issues in Arab countries. And the minister held meetings with the labor ministers and heads of delegations and international and Arab organizations and explored with them prospects of joint cooperation. He discussed joint cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain. During the meeting, the two sides affirmed their commitment to work closely to strengthen and expand their bilateral relations and to continue building on the existing cooperation in various fields, including in politics, economy, health, energy, culture, tourism, trade, and investment. The two sides also expressed their desire to continue their close cooperation in regional and international forums and to work together to end wars and conflicts in order to enhance security, peace, stability, and prosperity for all peoples of the world. The two sides also agreed to increase bilateral visits at the technical and political levels as it is essential to enhance fruitful bilateral cooperation between the two sides. Both parties agreed to develop a joint action plan that includes cooperation between Italy and the Kingdom of Bahrain during the next three years, identifying the main projects and the parties concerned with them as well as establishing mechanisms to ensure follow-up and implementation and options for their continuous updating and that the Kingdom of Bahrain will submit the first draft of the joint action plan to the Italian Republic for review in preparation for its approval during the second meeting of the joint committee to be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain next year. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Yasser bin Ibrahim Hamidan, attended a ceremony hosted in the city of Khubar in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to launch the power interconnection project between the GCC countries and the Republic of Iraq. The minister said the GCC interconnection grid is one of the most strategic projects in the region. He stressed the contribution of the project in reducing the cases of partial and total outages of the Gulf networks by providing instant support through power transmission. The minister indicated that the project will reinforce cooperation and meet part of the demand for electric energy, especially in southern Iraq, in addition to supplying Iraqi electrical grid with at least 500 megawatts. He noted Bahrain's drive to strengthen joint cooperation with other countries in an integrated manner, including infrastructure projects and basic services and achieve the desired development goals to achieve sustainability in line with the vision by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the directors of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. Mr. Hamidan said that the connection with Iraq will contribute to increasing the economic operation of the network at the regional level in preparation for expansion at the Arab and international levels as well as increasing reliability and raising energy efficiency in the Gulf network.
The Justice Islamic Affairs and Endowment Minister, Chairman of the High Committee of Hajj and Umrah Affairs, Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Maouda, received the advisor to the Minister of Hajj and Umrah General Supervisor for External Pilgrimage and e Hajj Project Manager, Dr. Farid Taha Manzar, in the presence of Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al Qattan, the head of Bahrain Hajj delegation. The minister praised the care of the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the efforts made by the Minister of Hajj and Umrah and other competent authorities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, hailing the advanced level of services provided to the pilgrims. The Minister was informed about the efforts made by the Hajj delegation in the Kingdom of Bahrain in coordination with the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to complete all the necessary arrangements. The meeting aims to ensure the provision of maximum capabilities to serve the pilgrims and enabling them to perform the rituals of Hajj with ease and comfort and reassurance. The Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowment held a joint meeting with the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The meeting also reviewed arrangements for receiving and enlisting the pilgrims of the Kingdom of Bahrain for this year's Hajj season. The Justice and Islamic Affairs Under Secretary Isa al mannai appreciated the Saudi preparations to receive the Hajj pilgrims of Bahrain. The meeting also dealt with the smart systems adopted by the Minister of Hajj and Umrah in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which facilitate Hajj rituals, including the registration of pilgrim's data in the electronic Saudi track. The Kingdom of Bahrain took part in the 49th United Nations World Tourism Organization Regional Commission for the Middle East Conference, held in Jordan. The Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Dr. Nasser Al-Qaidi, he led Bahrain's delegation to the meeting and affirmed Bahrain's commitment to providing a diversified tourism product enriching the regional tourism sector and increasing its contribution to the growth of the economies of the Arab, Gulf and the Middle East. He noted that the authority seeks to enhance cooperation with the regional committee and neighboring countries with regard to tourism projects and initiatives aimed at developing the tourism product at the regional level and attracting more tourists from around the world.